just received a, another question that has to do, it's a fairly common question, has to do with the unseen therapist. And the question is, do we need to be spiritual, you know, to access, to deal with the unseen therapist, get our answers, get our healings and so on? No, you don't have to be spiritual, you know, in, in the sense that you don't have to uh, have a particular religion. Uh, you don't have to be someone who meditates all the time. Uh, uh, you know, has your own spiritual official practice and all of that. No, no, not that that wouldn't be helpful, but it's not necessary. What is necessary is that you be open to it, open to the fact that there's a higher power, something well beyond, you know, your own uh, beliefs about, about what healing is all about. Uh, something that it gets to the idea that love, I mean, real, real love, spiritual love, is what's really behind uh, the best levels of healing. The ultimate healing is, is, is always love. There has to be an openness to that. If you're just shutting it down, you are far more powerful than you think. And your mere effort at shutting it down will shut it down. That's how powerful you are. You are just as powerful as anything in the spiritual dimension. Uh, you just haven't recognized it yet. And that's really, really one of our goals here with the Unseen Therapist and Optimal EFT and all of that, is to bring that recognition from out of you. It's within you already, but covered over, you know, by ego thoughts and, and you know, the incessant chatter in our mind and so on and so forth, you know. But our goal is to get rid of that. So, so with a mere openness, just openness and practice uh, and the right kind of training, ah, ah, big doors open.